What's up, boys and girls? After weeks upon weeks waiting for Leicester to finally announce a summer transfer signing, well, today it has happened. The Zambian international Pat Sindaka has officially signed for Leicester City Football Club. The contract has been signed, the fee has been agreed between Leicester and RB Salzburg, and Dakar is a fault. The first signing of the 2021 summer trans window has been completed, boys and girls, and yeah, it is a big one. So, that being said, boys and girls, in today's video, we'll go through everything you guys need to know about Leicester's new signing and also what Pat and Dakar himself had to say about his new move to Leicester this summer. So, yeah, boys, without further ado, let's get into today's video and let's discuss the latest Leicester trans rumours and news. Here we go. Yes lads, how you all doing? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today boys and girls, we are back once again discussing the latest Leicester transfer rumours and news. But today, there is no rumours because boys, it's official. Pat Sandaka has now signed for Leicester City Football Club. The first signing boys, it has been done. And you know, John Rudkin has pulled off an absolute masterclass as Dakar has been confirmed. So yeah boys, without further ado, let's come straight into today's video. And let's get into discussing Pat Sandaka and his official moves to Leicester. Come on. Well, right lads, there we go. Pat Sandaka in a letter shirt. The things you love to see. But yeah, boys, the deal has finally been confirmed and Pat Sandaka is officially a Les City player. Of course, this transfer has been going on for a very, very long time. But yeah, today it has been finally done. Pat Sandaka is officially a Les City player. And this guy has got some big intentions going forward in a Les City shirt. It's the first time Leicester have signed a striker in the last four years. And believe me, boys, this is going to be a big transfer signing and Pat Sandaka could be a large part of Leicester's future. Of course, Dakar is only 22 years old. It has been confirmed today by Leicester that Dakar has signed a five-year contract taking him to 2026 in a Leicester shirt. And it's also been reported that the transfer fee is around £23 million for Pat Sandaka, which for me is an absolute steal. You know, John Rudkin has worked an absolute masterclass out here, people. So yeah, £23 million for Dakar on a five-year contract. Fantastic sign. I think we all knew that this transfer, you know, was going to happen. Of course, last week it was confirmed by Fabrizio Romano that the medical was completed a week ago. So, you know, it has taken a long time. But, you know, today is a day and Dakar has officially now been announced as a Leicester City player. The transfer itself is subject to Premier League and international clearance. But overall, boys, the deal has been done. Dakar is in Leicester shirt. And, yeah, boys, we'll be seeing him at the beautiful King Power Stadium next season. So, yeah, that's, that's everything you guys need to about the transfer itself with a contract that transfer to feed all that good stuff. So as always, boys and girls, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Is it a good prize? Is it a good contract? Just let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. So then moving straight on, let's see what Pat Sandaka had to say about his new transfer to Leicester as he recently spoke to LCFC TV. So then first of all, Pat Sandaka has said that is a dream come true to join Leicester. There's clearly though he had a main aim to play in the Premier League and that's already happened at the age of 22 and you know this guy is very hungry to achieve big things now in the Premier League in a Leicester shirt. He's also said that he's very excited to join a team like Leicester who's very hungry to win trophies of course last year we, we did win the beautiful FA Cup when Pat Sandak is looking to join that team and add more trophies to Liz hopefully heading into next season. And of course Pat Sandak has already won a lot, he's won several big trophies in the Austrian League at RB Salzburg so you know it's fair to see he definitely has that winning mentality. And it looks like Pat Sandaka will be looking to bring that winning mentality to Leicester this summer and hope to see more trophies being lifted at the King Powell Stadium next season. And of course coming into the Premier League from the Austrian League in Dakar's case there's a big term of adapting to the new environment and Pat Sandaka has said that he's ready to adapt his playing style to suit Leicester and to suit the Premier League. So yeah this guy knows how difficult it will be to adapt to the Premier League just in his, uh, in his early stage ages at Leicester but overall I think you know this guy is going to suit, suit the Premier League down to the bill. So yeah lads as you can see Pat Sandaka is looking very excited to join Leicester this summer and for me I'm very excited to see what he can do in a Leicester shirt. So yeah Pat Sandaka welcome to Leicester City. The first signing of the 2021 summer transfer winner boys has been completed. So as always boys and girls let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below on Pat Sandaka. We've heard everything about the transfer itself with the contract and the fee and we've also heard what Pat Sandaka has to say about Leicester and how excited he is to be joining up with the boys heading into next season. So yeah, boys, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. So, the boys and girls, that's it for today's video. Of course, in today's video, we went for the latest lesser transfer rumors and news, of course, talking about the main man, 
Parson Daka is now officially a Leicester City player. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, let me know by dropping a like. Subscribe as well to the channel if you guys have already. We're now very close to 2,000 subscribers. Any help towards that will be massively appreciated. And as always, most importantly, let me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Lots of big videos on the way. We'll go in depth tomorrow with a different video on Parson Daka and what he could bring to Leicester City next season. But yeah, boys, I'm in sports, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Peace, guys.